see uh, we'll be having how many systems we are having here three systems one is development three. system second one quality system third one is production system this is a three system landscape okay generally you can have within one sap system you can have clients from range between triple zero to triple nine so how many clients we configure generally how many clients means in general we don't configure more clients in general in development system we used to configure two or three clients first client for example i installed uh, i created one client called 100 that is for my development purpose you can say customizing purpose second client unit test client third client sandbox client means in a development system you will be having only three clients that uh, default clients are there triple zero 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 one zero double six will be there but according your business clients are three development client unit test client and sandbox client what is development client so whatever the customization whatever the modification enhancements and new developments you do you do in that development client and you will be having another client called unit test client what is the meaning of this unit test client means generally developers will develop something some program okay they have created a transport when they modified they enhanced some standard objects what happens obviously it will create a transport request so they have to move the transport request to quality client to quality system before moving that what they do they do self testing for that purpose they will move from this development client to unit test client the developers will move their developer efforts from one client to another client within the same system for the purpose of unit testing okay they test by the, themselves okay if they are satisfied then they will ask you to move to quality client they will they will release a transport request then it will come to quality here the testing will be happen then to production and third client is sandbox client sandbox client means you can do any r and d in this client you cannot do all the r and d's in development client unit test client there will be one separate client in some organizations you will be having separate system for sandbox means entire system is different you can do anything there in some organizations you will be having one client that is what a sandbox client it is not mandatory to have three clients okay in general i am talking in general they will be having development client and unit test client and sandbox client some organizations will have only development client some organizations will have debit and unit test client some will have more than two also okay in quality system they will be having one client that is for testing purpose quality purpose quality testing purpose whatever you developed in this development client that will be here you do development you are sending the developments to quality system in a quality client in that client you do testing for example you created some new program you developed some new program you modified some standard sap program you enhanced some program so you want to execute that program whether and you want to check whether that program is giving some positive response or not proper response or not where you check for the purpose of testing only you have quality system na? in quality system you check that and in this quality system only you will be having some more cl other client called as training client for example you want to give training to end users will you give your production system for end users no for training purpose we use quality system only so in general we will be having two clients in quality one is 200 client second one is whatever the numbers you can give any numbers these numbers are not mandatory but i am saying quality client and training client i am saying development client unit test client and sandbox client number can be anything range between triple zero to triple nine triple zero 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 one zero double six are default remaining you can give anything between triple zero to triple nine and whatever you do develop you do all the developments at 100 and move there to 200 and from there you move to production system here production client 300 client here you do the business what landscape is this it is a three system landscape i am using three systems to do my development quality and production arrangement of your systems where you do your development quality and production is called as landscape for doing development in quality and production i am using three systems here so i am calling it as three system landscape i told you three system landscape is different three tier architecture is different three tier architecture is what 
this development system should follow three tiers presentation layer application layer database layer quality also presentation layer application layer database layer production also presentation layer application layer database this is architecture three tier architecture this is how you are doing business horizontal and vertical remember the okay three system landscape is different three tier architecture is different for example if you have this 200 client here itself quality client so 100 is for development 200 is for quality okay in this system only you are having some production client that is two system landscape if you do development in one client quality in one client and production in one client that is a single system landscape so landscape is different architecture is different three tier architecture is different three system landscape is different i hope you got the point in real time how many clients will be having in one landscape in one landscape means simple almost five to six that's it not more than that you don't have 50 clients no only in development system two to three clients quality two to three clients and production one client mostly this is what we have in our landscape what is this landscape guys data landscape. three system landscape this is a three system landscape okay right what i am doing here in development client what i am doing see you know this in client in database what type of data we have we have two types of data client dependent data client independent data when it comes to client dependent data we will be having user master data application data and client specific customizing data we are having two types of customizing one is client specific customizing second one is cross client customization customizing customizing means what settings so if i do this settings it will only affect this particular client if i do cross client settings it will affect all the clients that is what the difference so we have four technical words here customize what you do in implementation customization modification enhancement and development customization means two types of customizations are there client specific customization cross client customization means settings i told you country is equal to india you have to select from that list you have to select india currency inr okay branch you have to select that branch like this settings is called as customization in that customization we have two things local settings global settings and the remaining three things are modifications enhancements and developments modification means what where you do all these things means in repository data customization means only these two modifications means or modifications enhancements and developments you do for repository data repository means what your programs reports screens menu options tables everything if you want to do any change in your program standard sap delivered program then it is called as a modification that's there is a standard program you want to modify something something to that program that is called as a modification where you do modification out of these five things only into repository enhancement means what you have a program or a report you want to add some ex extra code to existing code means you are adding something new to the existing code that is called as enhancement where you do that repository only development means sap has de delivered some standard thousand programs you need something new which is not present in that software then what you need to do you need to do the development of a program or a report or a screen or a table that is called as a development so modifications enhancements developments whatever you do where you do into the repository objects customization where you do in the client specific customization cross client customization then what i need to move from my development client to quality client for example in development client i am having some developers abappers the thumb rule of sap or whatever the software is what no developer should have access to production no end user should have access to development so can i move for example this is my development development client for example i am having some developers here can i move all the developers to quality and production no so this user master data i don't move to quality from there to production in development client i will be having different users in quality client i am having different users in production client also i am having different users 
so in development client what are the users i am having developers some functional people will be there basis people will be there in quality client testers functional people and basis people no developers in production functional people for doing the business and the basis people to organize this system to maintain this system and the end users right do we have developers in production system no so production okay. client no so every each and every client will have its own users so sap is restricting user master data to move from one system to another system whatever the users you have you have in that client only user master data is independent data so what i am trying to say here is what all the things we move from development client to quality so do we move user master data from development to quality no no Sir. application no. data application data means what business data the combination of master data plus day to day transactions so that application data do we have any business data in development client why i am using this development when i install this software the standard software will be there so whatever the customizations modifications enhancements and developments i want to do i am doing to what to the software i am doing i am making changes to software that's it i don't deal with the business data here i don't have any business data here then there is no concept of moving application data from development client to quality quality to production right so we are not moving user master data we are not moving application data then what we need to do more customization yes our branch code okay branch uh, name all these things are local settings and company name company calendar these settings are global settings so we have to move this customizations modifications enhancements and developments simple customization means we have to move client specific customization we have to move cross client customization modifications enhancements developments means what not entire repository you move to quality system why for example here also i am having same software whatever software here i am having here also i am installing the same standard software so why i need to move all thousand programs which are delivered from sap to quality already they are present there only what i move whatever the programs for example i have done 50 modifications only that will move only 50 enhancements only that enhancements i have to move and 50 new developments let's take example of 50 so that means standard programs i have changing 50 standard programs i have changed 50 standard programs i have enhanced and these two are what already these 100 programs are in from repository only not new things but these 50 are new developments i am not having that programs in this repository so i am creating that so i have to move this 50 modifications this 50 enhancements this 50 new developments to qualities repository and i have done some 30 settings local settings that 30 settings and global settings the 30 30 global settings 30 local settings and 50 modifications 50 enhancements 50 developments only these things i need to move to quality client quality system yes or no whatever yes. the software here i am having here also same software i am installing why i need to move entire thing only whatever the changes you have done that changes in that modifications and that enhancements and that new developments only that things you move from customizing also whatever the changes you do local changes global changes the only that things you move to quality from here we move to production client this is what we do in our landscape why we are having development system is for doing customization modification enhancement and development we need a client in that client we log in into that client and we do all the modifications enhancements developments and customization finish my development work is finish now i i need to move all the changes to quality client okay how we change how we move i'll tell you from quality client i need to test there so all my local settings came global settings came and modifications enhancement development everything now these two systems are same you have written some payroll program new pro payroll program here you want to test that program whether that program is executed successfully or not then how you run that payroll program without any employees data 
so in quality system do we have any business data do we have any application data in quality client no 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 so what we do we have that ecat and cat settings in client settings by using that scripts electronic computer aided test tool computer aided test tool by using that script we create some dummy application data means dummy business data customers data the transactions customer names the transaction employees employees transactions by using that dummy data we run these programs we execute that program okay all the programs executed successfully everything is fine then i'll move that local settings global settings here also i install the same system same software only these changes whatever i have performed here not present in quality quality production system so whatever the local settings whatever the global settings and modifications enhancements and new developments i'll move to production now all the systems are same entire my landscape is same here in production client add my original business data and by using that business data i start running my business this is what is called as landscape so only what all the things you move from development to quality quality to production means only three things only four things customizations modifications enhancements and developments customizations means two things are there local customization client specific customization cross client customization modifications enhancements developments means from the repository your programs reports screens menu options we'll see what we have in repository exactly okay these things we move from development to quality quality to production but we don't move any business data application data no user data remember out of this five data we only move client specific customization cross client customization and repository that's it we don't move user master data we don't move application data is it clear yes sir no yes now we'll see in detail what we have in this repository cross client customizing see <coughs> the user master data means what every see i am having how many clients here two clients this is one client and this is second client every client has user master data application data and client specific customizing data by its own this client is having this three this client is having this three but cross client customizing data repository data are common for this client and this client two clients what is user master data user names and their logins their passwords their address everything is called as user master data application data means combination of master data plus transactional data we have discussed all these things client specific customization means the specific to this client settings these settings are specific to this client cross client customizing means printer settings your sap uh, calendar your company codes your company name your company rules and regulation these are all comes under cross client customizing means if i change company calendar it will affect this client and this client right if i change branch code it will only affect this client if i change here it will only affect this client so this customization are two types local customizations global customizations and when it comes to repository what all the things we are having in repository means programs reports functional modules screens tables and a data dictionary all these things you know repository along with that you will be having some tools abap editor tool object browser functional builder screen paint screen builder menu builder okay menu painter and all the compilers abap interpreter screen interpreter calling all these things these are all runtime environment i'll discuss this later okay do you have any doubt here where i am having no, all sir. these at presentation layer or application layer or database layer all these things presentation layer application layer data we have three layers right in which layer i'll get user master data application data client specific customization data cross client customization data and repository data tell me uh, database. database in database, database layer in database in database layer only i am having all these things right see at presentation layer what you install simple gui graphical user interface fine at application layer what you are having 
you are having simple usr directory in the directory you are having profile directory kernel directory transport directory work directory and logs all the sap logs along with that some sap standard users are there sid adm sap services sid users sap services schema service host agent this host exe right all these host services some ports are there and mmc all these things you are having at application layer in the database layer what you are having sap repository business data and database repository in this do you have sap repository yes all the programs reports screens menu options sure. tables everything is there right do i have business data here yes yes application yes, data sir. also we so i have business data i have sap repository along with that you will be having database repository means whatever the database software you use that data also will be there this is how your sap system presents at presentation layer you will be having gui software at application level you will be having usr directory users services ports mmc all these things stuff and at the database level you will be having business data sap repository and a database repository if you are using oracle oracle related software will be there if you are using hana hana related software will be there i'll, I'll give you that see sap repository means your programs reports screens menu options everything and business data means all your application data master data plus transactional data and database repository database related software these all things will be having in this database at application level you will be having all the directories kernel kernels will be there transport directory will be there all the work directory profile directory and all the logs users services ports mmc at application layer at presentation layer you will be having gui any doubt here no sir clear clear so for the first time you are seeing all yes, these sir. things right yes sir yeah yes sir okay so has a sorry i have a query yes harish yeah have the basis consultant uh, are we working on this repositories uh, repositories last one oh no no Where no the code no, no. is involved i am no, coming right? there only there only i am coming Okay, you don't yeah, do with this you repository. All the uh, you don't do all these okay. things. You you don't deal with these programs, reports, screens, menu options. All these things are related to your these tools. A web editor. These uh, developers will do. Who will do modifications? Do you know any web programming language? Who will do enhancement? No, who will no. write the code? Who will create a new programs? Developers. So this, uh, this uh, modifications, enhancements, and the developments. Everything is done by your developers only all these things modifications enhancements and developments who will do all your developers and this customizations mostly customizations will done by your functional people and they know that uh, branch code company code and uh, plant numbers all the uh, taxations everything they know right we don't do customization only little bit few things are there mostly majorly functional considerations we do the customizations may and entire modifications enhancements and developments is done by your developers no basis consultants remember this fine thanks for asking so you should know what exactly we are doing what is our role here before going to tms what exactly data we have in database application level and presentation layer and what data we need to move why we need to for example you want to, somebody ask you client specific customizing data we have to move from development to quality so you should know what is exactly client specific customization and developments we are having few developments please move the developments to quality as a basis consultant you should know what is exactly meaning of development modification enhancement that is the reason i am explaining you all these things i'll come to that okay harish is it clear Yes, yes, yeah. Okay. Now, come to the point. You know, from development system, we do all the developments, quality, we test their production, we do the business in production. How you move 
these all changes from development system to quality, quality to production. That is what my point. So in SAP, there is a mechanism called TMS, Transport Management System. Transport Management System. By using this mechanism, we move the data from development system to quality, from quality to production. By using which mechanism? TMS, Transport Management Transport. System. So what is exactly this Transport Management System? Means, for example, to understand that concept, you should know other softwares also. Generally, for example, some software is using three-tier architecture, some Java-based application. So where you install application, at which layer you install application, generally? At application layer only? At the database layer, what you have in general? That the database software will be there and your business data. Why you are using database? To store your business data. Your software will be at application layer and your business data will be at business layer. Business layer, database layer. Okay, fine. From presentation layer, users will log into application. That application will connect to the database and it will fetch the data. Application again gives the users the end users the data. This is what happens in general. SAP is somewhat different. We discussed that already. Today also we will discuss that. Okay, for example, there is one application which is developed on Java platform. This application is developed on Java platform. There are four developers are there. They are logging from their respective laptops. These four are their end user laptops. There are developers. So they want to do, they have given one task to develop a, a, develop a single program. So what they need generally in their laptop? They need some tool like Eclipse, Git, Docker, Tomcat. These are all developer tools. SDK, Software Development Kit, J2 SDK. These are all small, small tools. By using that tool, that tool will have what? That tool will have program builders, screen builders, interpreters, and the library files, everything in that. For example, Eclipse tool is there. I have installed that Eclipse tool. Harish is the developer. In Harish laptop, I have developed, uh, I have installed Eclipse tool. Where it is installed? In Harish C drive, it is installed. Now Harish wants to write a program. Okay, he will open this Eclipse tool. There will be some uh, program builder will be there. He will open that developer toolkit and he will write a program and save that program. Where it will be saved? In that tool only. In that C drive Eclipse folder, that program will be saved. The same way, all these developers will have some developer tools. That data, whatever the data they are generating, they are creating, it is saving locally in their local desktops. Did you got the point? What I am trying to convey here? Yes. Yes. Now, these are our physical files, right? Later, I will put a pen drive here by using any of the mediums i'll move all these programs to my application software here it has to affect these are physical files they are looking uh, saving locally fine now come to this here it is sap i am having sap developer for abapers what software we installed at abapers desktop whatever end users desktop GUI. GUI, just a GUI. When they log in into the system, just a GUI is for using for logins purpose. Okay, they log in into the system. Now this user, this Harish, wants to write a program. Do Harish have any program builders, any development tools here in this system installed? No. As a SAP developer, no. He want to write a SAP ABAP program. From where he is getting that screen, just he has to log in into SAP and hit some SC80 or SC38, anything. So here, see ABAP editor, object. So what all the things we are having here? ABAP editor, object browser, functional builder, screen painter, menu painter. If you want to build a new screen, new menu, new program, there are some tools. So you call some T code, you are getting that screen from your 
SAP is a repository. Means from this database you are getting that screen. Okay, you write some program, finish, and you want to execute that program. To execute that program, when you say F8 execute, there are something called ABAP interpreters, screen interpreters, call interfaces. These are runtime environment executors for compilation of the programs. We use these things. From where you are getting all these compilers? From the database only, from this repository only, means you are developers toolkit, developer compilers, library files, everything you are getting from this repository to your screen. You don't have anything here. Just you are opening a screen. From where you are getting the developer program screen, program builder, screen builder, page builder, from here, from here, from repository. You are writing some program and you are compiling. From where your compilers are getting? From here only and you say save where it is going again it is going into your repository only right if you create a new program where it will be saved in ABAP workbench new program will comment here new report it will be saved in your repository only new page new screen new menu whatever you do it will be saving in your repository only means your developments your de new developments your modifications, enhancements, everything saving where? Repository means in SAP, whatever a developer do anything, it is finally saving centrally in the database, unlike locally in the their own desktop. You got the difference between these two? If other developers do something, they, if they build some program, it is saving into their local desktop. Later I am copying that files into my application but when it comes to sap it is directly calling from your repository only if you write something when you say save it is going and sitting in your repository only it is not saving at your local desktop nothing will be there you got the point in sap the data is saving centrally in other softwares the data is saving locally the developer's efforts will save here this developer's efforts will save here but when it comes to SAP, it is centrally saving into your centralized database. Am I clear with this? Yes, Why yes. our SAP software is yes. not at application layer? Only at application layer, you will be having that .exe files, .dll files, users, kernel, only that USR directory, only these things. You have all the programs, reports, screens, menu options, everything in the database only. So in SAP, the data is saving centrally in the database, unlike other softwares locally at the developer's desktop. Now, fine. These all developers have developed some programs into your development database. Now I want to move all these modifications, enhancements, and new developments to quality system from this database to another database. Yes? Are you clear with this? Okay. Development yes. to database to quality dev. Can I draw the image otherwise? Yes, sir. See, this is my development to database. From this database, I need to move to quality. This is my development system. This is my quality. I have done all the changes here. In this standard software, I have done some. What I have done? Some modifications I have done. Modifications enhancements and new developments i need to move all these changes to this database so this database to this database i have to move now tell me what is database database is a logical it logical is not a physical one what happens actually when you install a database physical where your data is saving in database for example see this is my hard disk boss this is my 500 gb hard disk 500 GB hard disk. So, in this hard disk, I need to install database software. Database software. When I install this database software, while installing, it will ask me, what is your database size? I'll say 300 gig, 300 GB. So, what it will do? It will occupy 300 GB of space from your hard disk. And within that hard disk, it will create some 
logical partition in logical partitions in the form of table spaces something whatever you say within that hard disk it will create some logical partitions and it will organize your data in a structured manner so similar data or data at one place similar data tables at one place uh -huh. now now this is where my data is saving actually this 300 gb belongs to this hard disk only but physically it is saving a hard disk but logically i am segregating my hard disk into different different data units different different tables and i am arranging my data into these tables so logically i am saving my data in this database am i clear logical means can you touch that logical one it's not real it's a logical no. one so how can you move this program from this logical database to this logical database you cannot touch that when it is logical if it is a hard disk i can uh, bring this hard disk to this hard disk but it is a logical one your tables table spaces in database are logical partitions within your hard disk you cannot touch that then how can you move the data this logical data from this development database to quality database so here we use mechanism called tms transport management system what we do here for example this is my development system this is my dev system this is my quality system from development database what i do i'll export the data i'll export the data for example i am having some three programs here i'll export this program logical to physical where i am getting we'll be having one directory called trans directory usr sap trans that is a transport directory under that we will be having one co file and data file we'll discuss about these things so when i export the data what happens i'll get one co file three co files and three data files i am converting this logical data into physical format now i'll copy this co file data file to quality systems usr sap trans directory will be there in quality system also quality co file and data file now from here i'll import from source database i'll export from source database i'll export from here from database level to os level i am exporting from application level from to database i am importing so exporting and importing what is that in transport what you do was transferring the data transport means what transferring export plus import, import only import. Yeah? exporting and importing is called as a transporting so like that i move the logical data from one logical database to another logical database how i am doing that by exporting this logical things to when i export what happens it will convert this logical data will be converted into physical files now i'll copy that physical files to quality systems usr sap trans directory from there i'll import into this database means logical to physical physical to logical so export plus copy plus import export plus what i am doing export plus copy plus import that is what your tms transport management system why do you don't have this concept anywhere in a, in a sap only we are having this why you have to move the data from one logical database to another logical database if my software is here in this c drive if i install my software here i can copy that files to this location this c drive but my software is not storing at application level anymore my software is saving where in the database from this database i need to move to this database that is the reason i am using this export and import mechanism that is only called as transport mechanism tms tms is a tool through which we move the data from one database to another database one system to another system how in a back end we are doing what exporting copying and importing that is what your tms from here i need to export from here i need to import from where i am getting this these two physical files i need to copy to this i'll show you that what so this system is having usr directory and another system also will have usr directory at application level so from database level to application level transport directory from database to application level i am exporting 
and from application to application, I'm copying, and from here, I'm importing into this database, target database. From quality also, same to production. Like that, I am moving my repository, whatever the enhancements, modifications, customizations, and developments from development database to quality database, from quality database to production database. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Clear, sir. So now, come to TMS. You know the concept behind TMS. What exactly TMS? Why we use TMS concept in SAP? Now, to understand the TMS concept, I say this is a huge concept actually. I segregated this concept into three parts. One is change transport organizer. Second one is transport TMS, CTO, TMS and TP tools. CTO means change transport organizer. TMS means transport management system and TP tools means we use some tools for exporting and importing. We use two tools called TP.exe and R3Trans.exe. How they work, we'll see later. So when it comes to CTO, we'll have in three T codes, SC09, SC10, SC01. When it comes to TMS, we're having two T codes, STMS and STMS underscore import. So we'll see CTO today, change the transport organizer. What is this CTO? When you install your system, when you install your system, for example, you are having some development system, quality system, production system. Three systems are there. You have to configure TMS. You have to configure TMS first. You should do TMS configuration between these three systems. I want to move the data from development system to quality, quality to production. For example, if you want to move some package from uh, Hyderabad to Vijayawada, between you are having Suryapet, right? So Hyderabad to Suryapet, Suryapet to Vijayawada. What you need actually, if you want to move the data, move some transport, you need a road transport facility. So you have, without, any transport facility, can you move the data from Hyderabad to Vijayawada? No. No, sir. So you should establish the route between Hyderabad to Vijayawada. That route establishment, that configuration is called as TMS configuration. We need to configure TMS between these three systems. Means it will configure some routes there. By using that routes, we move the data from one system to another system by using TMS concept. So when you for example, now I am having three different different systems. I don't have any relationship between these systems, three different individual systems. When I configure TMS, what happens? The communication will be established between these three systems. How we establish that communication, we'll see the TMS configuration tomorrow. Now, as of now, so when you install your system before configuring TMS, as a post installation activity, what we do, we hit it before configuring TMS, we hit one T code yeah. called SE06. SE06 as a post installation activity, we hit SE06 before configuring TMS. You have to configure TMS to move the data. Before configuring TMS, what we do? We hit SE06 T code. What happens? So it will ask you post installation act actions for transport organizer. So you say standard installation database. For example, if your system is a fresh installation, you go with standard installation. If your system is result of a database copy or migration, you will come to know what is this exactly. So now my system is a fresh installation. So select the standard installation and say perform post installation actions. Do you want to reinstall CTS? CTS means change transport system. That is what TMS. Both are same. Yes. Processing after installation completed, configure TMS. Now it is asking to configure TMS. What happens when I hit this SE06 and say perform post installation actions? What happens in a backend? In a backend, there are some three functionalities will be activated. What all the three functionalities means? One is workbench organizer, customizing organizer, and third one is transport organizer. This CTO comprises of CTO means SE06. This comprises of three things, three functionalities. One is SE09, second one is SE10, third one is SE01. When you hit this SE06, these three functionalities will be activated. From this point onwards, in your database, if you do any changes, that changes will be recording as a transport request. If you do any client specific customizing changes, means if you do any client specific customizing changes, 
it will be recorded by your customizing organizer as a customizing request se10 if you do any cross client changes cross client changes means what cross client custom this and this if you do any modification if you do any enhancement if you do any development or if you do any global setting changes if you do if you touch anything from this and this it will be recorded by workbench organizer as a workbench request we are having transport request concept you know what is transport ex request exactly we already discussed that what every change whatever the changes you do in your development will be recorded as a transport request the transport request is having one unique number we discussed that sid k9 lakh 2 that unique number will be assigned for every change whenever you want to uh, transport something for example if you go to courier shop and you give some parcel what they'll do they will give you one consignment number tracking id right that for that package that id will be assigned so you can track that package destinations by using that consignment number right the same way whatever the developments modifications enhancements you do in your development system they all will be recorded as a transport request each and every change will be recorded as a transport request and by using the transport request only we are moving the data from development system to quality quality to production so if you do any client specific changes it will be recorded by customizing organizer as a customizing request we are having different different types of transport request one is customizing request second one is workbench request third one is relocation fourth one is transport of copies we'll discuss that so as of now today we'll see two transport requests two types of transport request one is customizing request second is workbench request customizing request means if you do any changes to your client specific objects that will be recorded by customizing organizer as a customizing request if you do any cross client changes that will be recorded by workbench organizer as a workbench request when if you activate this CTO, you have to hit C06 and say standard installation, perform post install activities. When you say this, what happens? From this point onwards, these three functionalities will be activated. What are the three functionalities? SC workbench organizer, customizing organizer, and transport organizer in your database. From that point onwards, whatever the changes you do in your database will be recorded as a transport request whether it may be workbench request, whether it may be customizing request. And at the same time, it will generate a initial transport request ID. One transport request ID will be created. For example, dev k9 lakh something. My SID is what? dev k some 9 lakh 2. Initial transport request ID will be generated. From next change, it will create another change request. dev k9 lakh 4. If you do any other change, it will create another transport. Like that, each and every change you do in the database will be recorded as a transport request. Whether it may be customizing request, otherwise it may be workbench request. If you do changes to client specific customizing data, it will create customizing request. If you do changes to class client customizing or repository data, it will create workbench request. Is it fine? The naming convention will be same. For customizing request, different naming convention workbench request different no naming convention will be same numbers are one by one it will generate automatically and in that request few are customizing request few are workbench request is it fine and when it yes, will sir. create customizing request to create that customizing request in your client settings in your client settings you should have this setting remember this for example, 200 client is this. For changes and transport client specific objects, automatic recording of changes. If you opt this setting, then only if you do any client specific changes, it will be recorded by customizing request. If you do changes here, client specific customizing, and your setting is this, automatically recording of changes means it will create which request? Customizing request or workbench request? Customizing. Customizing, request. Customizing request. 
this setting changes to repository and grassland customizing if you do this changes no. grassland customizing and repository changes it will record as workbench request so if you allow changes to cross repository and grassland customizing allow you may allowed and when you say when you touch anything to your repository and grassland customizing it should be recorded as a transport request remember for client specific objects it is asking you automatically recording of changes or changes without recording means if you have this setting it won't record as a customizing request if you do if you change customizing client specific customizing changes even though it won't record it transport request why you have this setting but if you have this setting automatic recording of changes then it will create customizing request for client specific changes it is asking for can i record can i don't record but for cross client changes it is not asking you can i record or not if you do any changes to repository and cross client customizing it should be recorded as a transport request what is the point if you do any changes in cross client customizing data or repository data means if you do any modifications to standard program any enhancement to standard program any new development it will prompt you for workbench request if you do any changes cross global settings it will prompt you for workbench request if you do any changes in client specific customizing data will it prompt for a transport customizing request yes when yes, if sir. you have this setting automatic, automatic, automatic recording of setting if you have this setting it won't record as a transport request if you do any changes here it won't record as a transport request if you have this setting automatic recording of changes it will prompt you for a customizing request so when you hit se060 code these three functionalities will be activated what are the three functionalities customization workbench organizer customizing organizer customizing. transport organizer transport. from that point onwards whatever the changes you do in database if you do client specific customizing changes customizing organizer will record as a customizing request mm -hmm. if you do cross client customizing changes and repository changes workbench organizer will record as a workbench request so customizing organizer is c10 workbench organizer is sc09 and what is this transport organizer by using this transport sc0 actually three are same t codes see if i hit all the t codes sc01 observe the chain sc01 sc09 same okay sc10 sc10 same you are having four option customizing request workbench request transport of copies we are having four types of request customizing request workbench request transport of copies relocation so all these three t codes are same but if somebody asks you what is the difference between sc09 sc10 and sc10 sc09 for workbench organizer so it will record cross client customizing changes and repository changes sc10 for client specific customizing changes and sc01 for sc01 is called as transport organizer so by you transport organizer sc01 so by using this you can create a transport request you can re rename a transport request you please mute you can create a transport request you can rename a transport request you can release a transport request only that change sc01 for it is transport organizer you can create a transport request you can rename rename a transport request you can release a transport request sc09 for workbench request from here also you can create you can rename you can release sc10 also you can do the same thing but if somebody ask you what is the difference mean sc01 for transport organizer sc9 for workbench organizer sc10 for customizing organizer this will record cross client customizing changes repository changes this will record client specific customizing changes and sc01 is for to create a transport request to release a transport request to rename a transport request this is what your cto so what is cto change transport organizer by hitting sc06 as a post installation activity we activate this cto it is cto comprises of three things sc09 sc10 and sc01 and from when you activate this it will generate a initial transport request id for the first time from that point onwards whatever the changes you do in your database that will be recorded as 
transport request whether it may be customizing request whether it may be workbench request if you do client specific customizing changes it will regard as a customizing request if you do repository changes and cross client changes it will regard as a workbench request is it clear clear sir any doubts